original Senate recommendation. And this is very impressive. When I look at, looked at this, and a lot of other people saw this, this was like a bright ray of sunshine breaking through the storm clouds of the Trump Commonwealth economy for the past several years. But unfortunately, after this recommendation came out, which was good, not quite everything that ought to be done, but good, but right after, the, after this recommendation came out, a lot of the naysayers started talking. And, and the naysayers kind of had the upper hand. And then they caused the committee to dilute its recommendation. I read this entire uh, report. I'm impressed with the report. But I'm sorry to say I'm not impressed with the recommendation. Uh, very respectfully, the recommendation is unacceptable. But more important than that, it's completely useless. It talks about granting an improved status years down the road. On November 27th of this year, the umbrella, the, the grandfather provision in the CNRA ends. And we have 16 to 20,000 aliens that basically are without status. We don't even have CW regulations yet uh, to deal with that. Okay? What the CNMI needs immediately is status for people that were legally here on November 27, 2009. And the best status for that is the CNMI only FAS equivalent status. You got the right status, it should cover everyone. Uh, and the other point I would make is that really you need to have specific statutory language. And I'm going to commit myself to draft something and, and uh, share with the committee some recommended uh, language for possible legislation. And I will do that in the way we can do in time. Uh, five minutes is a very short period of, of, of time, but that's, uh, that's what we need to do is we need to address it immediately at that time. Extending the umbrella permits is a legal impossibility. The CNRA talks about status that was given by the CNMI as of November 27, 2009. And the CNMI gave a lot of people status for two years. But that's the status that they gave. And the CNMI no longer has any immigration authority. It is impossible to extend that status. But it is possible to do what should be done, which is this FAS type equipment status. It should extend to everyone, and it should have a, be a free labor market. The aliens that are here in the CNMI right now are not a threat. Long-term alien residents are not a threat. People who were legal on November 27, 2009 are not a threat. Those people are a resource. They know the Commonwealth and they can work with us to rebuild the economy here and move forward. Bringing in a lot of new people like some businesses want to do, that's the threat. So what we need to do is embrace and extend the resources that we have right now and the way to do it is with an immediate FAS equivalent status